Hey guys, just quickly before this tutorial starts, I want to name and shame this cunt and this cunt for stealing my last Kane and Abel tutorial. It's really cringeworthy and outdated, so you shouldn't watch that one. Watch this one. He literally just stole this video right from under my feet. That's a photo of me in the background, and if this is him... Just installed Kane and Abel. That's awesome. Which sounds like me. Here's another one of his videos. Point out that these videos are intended for educate. They sound completely different. Now I'll start with the tutorial. Hey guys, click the link in the description for the program we'll be using. It's Kane and Abel. Download this second link here. Install it. After it finishes installing it, it'll ask you to download WinCap. Yes, click that. You wanted to install it or else it won't work. Open up Abel. Windows firewalls enabled, some features won't work. It's relevant because what we're doing doesn't matter about firewalls. Click over to Cracker. You want to click plus, but you can't, so you got to click here. Click plus. Next. Now run through this quickly. This has a password and this person has a password. They say empty because no password. This tells you whether it's less than eight. A star means yes, the password is less, less than eight. If there was no star there, it is more than eight characters. There will also be another link in the description to another video that explains hashes. I won't do it because I'm trying to do this quickly for you guys. Right click and go brute force attack. Click over to NTLM hashes. Now, I set that password for the test account. So I know that it's my name, Alex, and I know it's lowercase, so I'm going to click that. If you don't know, just, you know, go through them all, start with like the lowest, you know, build your way up, you'll get it eventually. But I know it's lowercase letters for Alex. I also know it's four letters, but we can tell here that it's less than eight letters. So we're going to bump that down to eight, and we've got a better chance. Click start. Well easy password so it happened pretty quickly click exit and then you've got the password stored and that's it thanks for watching guys